I've just never liked a script this much. It was, it, it felt like my voice, my family, my parents, my world, my timing, and I, I just felt like I, I get it. I, I get what's good here. I, I think as a director, you, you, the goal is to honor the script. Find a script you love and make that awesome. And I read this and thought, that's a worthy thing. This script is so good. I, I, if I can make this into a movie, a lot of good's going to happen. The characters are real people. The characters are flawed, but in the best way. The characters speak the way people speak, not the way movie people speak. And everything that's a little bit off in each of us is funny in this movie. Dan knows how to make funny story, to make funny character. Often movies have a story and have characters and then they try to put the funny on top of it. The funny is the story, the funny is the character. And he, he has a magnificent touch to letting the comedy move the story forward. We kept wondering, how come no two of these guys have ever worked together before? And one of the reasons probably is you could never afford two of them <laughs> in the same movie. Um, somehow we got four. We're rich. Um, the only two, Mary Steenburgen has worked, I think, with Kevin. Um, but that's it. And it is peculiar. It has a lot, I think, to do with the fact that they're all leading actors. And you can only have one leading actor in a movie, so why would you have both of them? They also started their careers a little bit in different places, in different ways, and they also do sort of different things, so it's fantastic that they all came together. And it may be one of the reasons they all said yes, because they hadn't worked together. Michael's probably the most like his character. Dynamic, confident, successful, great with the ladies, you know, that's, Michael probably embodies Billy more than anybody else. Um, and he just has the charisma. You know, charisma was the most important thing and sex appeal for that character. A lot of actors can play the lines, but the intangible is charisma and sex appeal. To see Bob De Niro, in that role to be the expected sort of grumpy guy, but also there's such a powerful sadness going on inside Patty, and that grumpiness comes from that sadness. And I think Bob really locked in on that and brought so much of that sweet pain and sadness into the grumpiness, you really care for him. And then he brings in all that comedy. Knowing Morgan was interested, and he's picky, you know, he does good stuff, and knowing Morgan was interested and, and wanted to do it, we were just like kind of crazy thinking someone's going to wreck it, something's going to go wrong, something bad's going to happen, it's not going to work out, and then it did, and it was just like, oh, what would happen if you got everything you ever wanted? <laughs> That's what it felt like when Morgan said yes. is always something new happening with Kevin. And you, you, you give him a wide berth because there's always something different happening. And so I started really relying on his creativity and, and finding something new every time he did it. He's hilariously funny and extremely sweet. This film is, has to first and foremost really work as a comedy. It better be funny. But there's so much going on here. This is a really sweet film that it brings us into characters we don't see in films a lot.